So with this year's West Coast Classic coming up, I wanted to take just a few minutes and talk about the scholarships that we offer here because this may be your best opportunity to come and visit the campus. As a matter of fact, if admissions knows that you're coming, especially if you could get here sometime on Thursday and you could take a campus tour, and possibly they could even make arrangements, depending on how many events you're entered in, for you to have a campus tour on Friday, then they offer a $500 one-time scholarship just for coming and taking a tour. Now, as far as forensic scholarships, we offer $2,000 renewable annually if you have past proven success in forensics. And we operationalize past proven success if you're an NCFCA, if you've gone to regionals and had at least two events get to ELIMS at regionals, then that's sort of the floor. Anything above that and you're an even stronger candidate for the scholarship. If you're in STOA, then if you have qualified at least two events to NITOC, then that's the floor and we would go up from there and if we have as many candidates apply as we have scholarships available to give and we have to start eliminating people then the people who have less past competitive success obviously those are the folks that would go to the bottom of the pile at any rate here's what we have in mind with the scholarship it works very differently from the way it works at forensics programs at other colleges because the first thing you've got to understand is we do not travel to 12 to 15 tournaments a year like a lot of very intense college forensics programs do around the country. What we believe in is we believe in healthy balance and we believe in the opportunity to experience a lot of things in college while still being able to use the gifts that God gave you, the opportunities you've had in the past to take those skills and continue to strengthen them at another level of competition, to go beyond what you found in homeschooling competition to college competition and use that as a practice field to polish up your skills even more in a limited commitment. Now I've been talking kind of vague and abstract. Let me make that a little more specific. If you come to NCU and you're on the forensic scholarship, that means for your first and second year in college, you're a member of the team, you compete as a member of the team. We go to probably about four tournaments a year and the tournaments are all within a two hour drive of the town. What that frees you up to do is to be involved with a lot of things around campus, to get plugged into student ministries, to be a writer, maybe even one of the editorial staff on the school paper. To we, We've had people on the team in the past who were members of the forensics team and also scholarship athletes. We had a very successful cross-country runner who went to NAIA nationals in cross-country and at the same time was one of our more active forensics team members. We can do this because the commitment to forensics is never going to be a 40-hour-a-week job on the NCU squad because it can't take over your life. That means you just miss out on too many other opportunities. So for two years, you compete in forensics, going to about four tournaments a year. And then, after two years, what you do is you retire from competing. And after that, you become a peer coach. And you have two objectives. The first is to work with other people who are competing in forensics, which could mean on the NCU team. It also could mean in the area around Eugene. You could work with local Christian schools. You could, if we can ever get it going, you could work with the area homeschooling parents to get their kids involved in NCFCA or STOA. You'd be doing it for free, of course, because this would be how you would be working off your scholarship. And the other objective you have is to be, to go out to other members of the student body and to encourage them, invite them, maybe hold their hand a little bit if they're nervous, to get them to try forensics, to get them to make the commitment to get a couple of events together and go to one tournament and see if it's for them. Because you've probably seen it before. People who haven't seen it before but get to look up close, many of them fall in love with it and then can't get enough of it. And really, they were lacking confidence before, but they didn't know what they were missing. And forensics can be really transformative for those folks. We follow this model, two years of competing and then two years as a peer coach, because what we believe is when God has blessed you that richly, the real proof of it and the real peak experience for making something out of those gifts is to let what's in you overflow and to go out and to make disciples. So, if that sounds like the model of a forensics program that's a good fit with you, maybe you've competed with some intensity in the past, but now you're not ready to give it up. You still think you have room to improve, but you have room in your life for other things, and it also feels like something God is preparing you to do, to take forensics and to bring other people into it. If that sounds like something that is a good fit with where you need to go educationally, then what I hope you'll do is you'll take advantage of the opportunity to come to the West Coast Classic 
and that you will make an opportunity for you to get the $500 scholarship for the visit and the campus tour, and then also fill out the form, the application for the $2,000 renewable annually scholarship. If you were to put that together, $2,000 doesn't come near to paying the entire cost of the school. You don't get a free ride for forensics. But I can't really think of a program, well, I can think of one or two in the entire United States where forensics can really pay for all of school. That's really very, very rare. But if you took the forensic scholarship, put it together with the academic merit scholarship, put it together with the ethical leader scholarship, and looked at some of the endowed scholarships, you could get very, very close to going to school for free. So those opportunities exist. I hope that you'll have a look at them. and. If that is the right fit, and if that is the direction that God is leading you, then maybe I'll see you in one of my classrooms one of these fall terms.